have Winnell joining us right now. Winnell, I want to thank you for coming down and Thanks. spending some time with us. Sure. So how long have you been in Arizona? Well, I've only been here for six months. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you like it? Oh, I like it. It's just I've been kind of bothered by things I read and things I hear that are happening with the police and things like that. I mean, or the sheriff or whatever. It's It's been kind of... it's been kind of unnerving. I chose to come here. Right. And I'm just kind of surprised at what's going on. Well, a lot of people come here because of the culture yeah, and the exactly. arts and whatnot. And, you know, they're in for a surprise lately. You come here and it's, you know, like you say, what we're reading and seeing going on in the politics and the police state. So, I mean, what are your, some of your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I came here to sort of stabilize. I've been in, in California for a while and I thought this would be a wonderful place to stay for a while. But I'm, I'm all of a sudden kind of flipping back to where I grew up, which was Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And I was there in the late 60s when Martin Luther King Jr. was marching and all of the civil rights thing was going on, which was fascinating right. to me and I wanted to be part of it. But I remember a day when I was with a friend and we were probably about 15 or 16 and we were trying to leave a movie theater and the Ku Klux Klan had decided to march downtown and, it, and as I tell it I, I still get chills Creepy. again. I've never seen anything like that in my life and there were women <clears throat> with high heels on that had children that were dressed in these little outfits and they were burning across. And I'm not Afro-American and I was terrified and I just thought you know I, I've come a long way and I came out west particularly to get away from some of sure, that. Right. And so then to come here and have this feeling that somebody is controlling and can do whatever they want, I mean, that's really scary for me. You, you would, would have thought we've gotten a little farther than that yeah, since the 60s. Yeah, I really would have. I mean, the 60s, we were going to change everything. We were going to make the world equal. I mean, and, and it's like, what happened? Well, we're still heading that way. It's yeah. just it's gotten off a little track here a little bit. but Right. That's why we're chatting now. And but it also makes me wonder, have I come to the right place? I mean, I, I, Arizona is beautiful, but I want also not only the openness of landscape, but the openness and, and you know. Diversity and, and, of culture. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And philosophy. And right. Things. Right. Right. Um, so any, any insight in, in what you possibly could suggest or think we can do to make anything better in this situation? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I assume that there's going to be, I, I mean, I, I just assume that, that citizens really do have to stand up right. and say, you know, this is, this is not how I want my life and my state to be and my environment to be. Right. I want to feel like it's comfortable for me to go on the streets, not so much because of the criminals, but for what else might be happening on the other side. Right. I mean, pretty soon you're not even going to have anybody dead towns. I mean, you know, everybody's going to be afraid to go out at night. Right. And that's, that's crazy. No. I didn't come here for that. It doesn't really matter who you are or what color you are. You're, right. You're in jeopardy go, exactly. every time you leave the house here. And, uh, and that... Don't need that. Yeah. And so whatever the citizens have to do at this point to just speak up and say, you know, this is not what we want. What can we do to change it? Right. Um, and whatever that might be. I don't know. I don't know a solution. Well, uh, we'll refer back to the 60s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, well, now I want to thank you for spending some time sure. with us. Uh, very nice to meet you. You too. Talk to you later. Well, thanks so much.